Hi, it is I, Sci-Fi, and welcome back to Soma. We just escaped from the Curie on this little vessel here, and we crashed near Delta. Yes, you were here last time too. This little guy pried us out from the Curie vessel. The Curie vessel. And now he's going to follow us on our way to Theta. But first, we have to go to Delta, because why not? It's here. So, grab. Let's fish. Make our way into Delta. Well, why can't I just swim up to the surface? Because there's nothing there. You have to get the Ark into space. Okay. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm even looking for in Delta. It's a way to get to Theta, I guess. This is the most open facility I've ever seen. Every other one has been, like, totally enclosed. This one's just like, hey, look, we got a building here, we got a building there, we got a building over there. Just, hold on, maybe I can get down. I don't know. Let's try it. I want to go to the control room, but I also want to jump in that pit. Looks like the glass broke through. And that looks like a dead body. Oh. There's... What the fuck is that thing? There are robots around. Okay, let's, uh... See if we can't open this door up. Oh god, you blind me every time you do that. Well, thanks, little good guy. Robot. Yeah, you're a good robot. You're not trying to kill me like all the other ones are. Save Catherine. Catherine was cool. far as it'll open. Okay, let's look at this dead guy. Ugh, ugh. That is disgusting. Why is your helmet on? You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? It got me pretty bad. I think I'm even worse than pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead, remember? The Lumor Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on! Okay. So, there's this guy named Akers injecting shit into people, and he hopped on a Zeppelin to get to Theta. So, it stands to reason I can take a Zeppelin to Theta also. There's a button here. Did it do anything? Wow, that is some really good lighting effect. Holy Jesus, did you guys see that? Look at that, that was just amazing! I love a game with good lighting, I really do. Alright. Are you gonna try to kill me? You don't day. seem hostile. Right. Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get to Theta. Give me some room, will you? Hey, you. Don't worry about it. I got this. Hey, you got? can you hear me? Don't stand there. You know better than that. Hey, you. Don't worry about it. I got this. Listen. Help me out of here, will you? He doesn't seem to say anything. 
All right, let's go through some of the uh, other buildings I see around here, like that one right there. Does this say anything? Ooh. Shipping. Arch shell to Phi on August. Yeah, August third, twenty one oh three. That was probably a half a year ago, from what I can tell here. I don't know what year it is now, but... Zeppelins? Status? Idle? Echo? Request transfer. I need to establish link. Echo. Okay, so these two are missing, I guess. This one's idle. Oops. Antenna. Transport positions lost. Manually adjust antenna. Signal strength. Okay, it looks like the Zeppelin is 840, 49, 216. Radio. Corrupt audio buffer restore files. Yes, restoring. He covered two files. Strasky, we can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Fulgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by redigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Anchors are set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy you back. Acres again. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> There's something not right about acres. First of all, any man that talks like this just cannot be trusted. And that Strasky guy sounded really uh, nervous as I am talking to him. Like, uh, uh, okay, Mr. Akers, <laughs> I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make sure they uh, pick you up, okay? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Thanks for getting that door for me. buttholes. Let me just fist this guy. Hell yeah. Alright. This looks like the guy that is following me around. Sounds and lights. Bull, which is that one that was going outside. Remote pilot supported, okay. The Topa, I haven't seen that one yet. Does not take a pilot. And the Qualia. Intelligence A2U. Requires a pilot for this one. Okay. Wait. I keep backing out when I want to back. Messages. Subject Delta Evacuation. Terry, it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate to Theta on the 14th. Everything is being taken care of and you will all be given new positions as you arrive. You will have to fall into the ranks, of course. The last thing we need are more leaders. Kronstadt. From Kronstadt to Theta. 
It's your funeral. <coughs> Fuck you, Constant. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me. Terry, this isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just the messenger. You want to stay? I can buy you some time if you want to hang out at your dump. But your crew is moving tomorrow, Constant. Strasky to Theta. Evacuation successful. Mr. Akers, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has arrived safely at Theta. Let me know when you are ready to move and I'll send a transport. Peter Strassi, Theta dispatch. Strassi to Theta. Merry, hold on. Christmas, wow. So the first message was received in August. The next one was the next day. Then the next day. And then three months. Oh wait, they're all right here. Merry Christmas, Mr. Akers. Don't hesitate to ask if you want to be relocated to Theta. So this guy is living here in Delta all by himself. Local access. January 11th, 12th, 13th, 13th. He's won a thousand game of chess. Must not be a hell of a lot to do here, other than just play chess all that right, damn day. Speaking of which... The opponent's been corrupted. Ah, oh, that means he cheats. He's a cheater cheaterson. Wait, what's this? He's won a thousand games. He's lost 610. So it looks like he stopped right after his thousandth win. Wow. Anything in here? There we go. Looks like a toilet. Do you even really need a toilet underwater? Don't you just like shit anywhere and it just floats away? What's the point? It's good enough for fish. Okay. So Delta and Theta are really close. But, based on what I'm seeing here, you need a Zeppelin to get to Theta because it's up on some kind of ridge. And Delta's down in a... not on a ridge. And... Oh, cargo transport. This is the routes that the Zeppelins take? I don't know. Any more buildings to look through? What about this one? Rest in shut. Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train anymore. Oh, well, I guess there's a shuttle. <laughs> I'm just going through stuff. What's this thing? Okay, this is uh, the antenna used to call the Zeppelins. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, the yellow one lit up. Let's go to the yellow one. Link established, channel 49. Am I able to call that Zeppelin now? Oh, wait a minute. But there was only one that was available, right? Which one was it? Oh, wait. Back. Zeppelins. 49. That's the one. Okay. Request transport. Zeppelin's on its way. Gotta get ready. Is it gonna appear here? It's it. carrying something. Hold on. Another dead body. I don't think I trust this. <coughs> Excuse me.
Okay. The Zeppelin looks like a fucking flea. That's not very. Whatever. Ah! Calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? what? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. Now, hold on. You said it would be easier to take it from the robot. Does that mean there's another solution? I mean, granted, the robot doesn't have feelings, and it's just a fucking AI. But he saved me. I have an unnatural uh, connection to this inanimate object that has no feelings whatsoever. A choice. I bet there's a choice. I just have to look hard enough. It only comes up when the robot's near me. You know what, buddy? Uh, there's gotta be a way out. Yeah, you know what? Yeah! There is another robot I can use. Hey, dude, who I have no connection to. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> oh, okay. Give me that tool chip, buddy. Give me that tool chip. This works. <laughs> hey, little guy who doesn't have a human inside of you, you're safe. delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. I guess he's had more time to be open than I have. Thanks. I want to say goodbye to my little buddy. Where's my little buddy at? Buddy! I didn't kill you! I killed some other guy! I hope you realize this! 
Hey, so you want to talk while we're going over there? It's going to be kind of boring. I don't want to have to fill up the, uh, the planets myself. You know what? Something's going to happen. This, nothing ever just goes smoothly, you know? We're going to fall, crash, or do whatever kind of shit, or, you know. Akins is going to be alive. What's this? You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Beta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunback, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunback, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Wow, I think I annoyed her. Theta! We actually made it here. Restricted area, huh? What's going on here, I wonder? Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The wild sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the suit. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Ground the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. So, based on what I read back at Delta, Akers did something to those people. But then the WoW attacked them? The Warden Unit, I guess it's called? I see lights over here, so I'm going towards the lights. Yeah, that's not opening. Shuttle station.
just uh, checked my mic to make sure I wasn't on mute again, because that would suck. Ooh, another one. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. <laughs> I know this guy told you to kill yourself, but the love of fucking God, don't kill yourself. Alright, we're done? Cool, capiche, I'm out. <laughs> There's a robot. Right. Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? How does that work? That doesn't make any sense. Your scan is just a copy of you. You can't just become your copy. It's not like... I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand what you're talking about. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Just... When you die, you die. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... This is Theta. Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. Crush her. See you later. Will do. Um, okay. I can figure this out. Simple. That's a big ass fucking door.
flashlight is not working. Oh, right, there it is. Oh, the Dunbat. Oh, the Dunbat must be huge. I remember this back from Upsilon. when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's, it's... Heroic? No. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Look, as, as amazing as the Ark sounds and all, you're not saving humanity. At the very least, you're just delaying the inevitable or preserving it. But, you know... Inside the yard, which I assume is just a little box filled with computer chips. Um, yeah, humanity can't spread from that. They can't break out of the ark. They just, it's like living in the Matrix, you know? It's like you're living in a computer program and that's it. It's just the, it's like the ark is the ghost of what humanity used to be. And that's all it is. It's not saving anything. All right. All systems operational, hull 99, armor 94, life support, wow. Map, main level. I'm here. 
Okay. Black box beacon. Black box, black box, black box, black box, black box, black box. Whoa! Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Look at that camera. I need to get a camera. What better way to enjoy a video than watching my face? And right there in the corner of the damn video. My pleasant voice isn't enough. You have to see my ugly face. Alright, well, let's go find us a uh, security cipher, I guess. Hey, I can turn the lights on. Guess I can go through the big gate now. I need to go get the Omni tool. I didn't think I could pull it out because when I tried, Catherine just started talking. Let's go, bitch. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going through the gate at all. Totally not creepy at all. I'm a robot. I don't have fears. I'm a robot with human emotions, so fear technically is one of them. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Of course you do. Came from that way. That's a door. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Yep. That looks like the same fucking machine that Dr. Munchi had. Said one of those. Put your cut connect telepathically to the robot, and then you can see what the robot sees. Uh, 
Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Sign a waiver. If you kill yourself, your scan will be deleted. The wow is here. It just comes in from everywhere, doesn't it? Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. I'm gonna erase that. <laughs> Fucking David Munchie. Compressed Nakajima Neurographic to his time. Paul Berg. Jared, I'm fucking there. Munchie. 1984, 2069. He was, uh,. God damn, he was almost as old as I am. I was born in 87. Let's see, 1880 is 2060. Let's see. 16, 69, 70, 85. He was 85 years old when he died. David Munchie. How did this... What is this? Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. The legacy scan. Oh my god, I died in 2015. Hold on. Wait a minute. I died that year I got a scan. What day was that? June 1st. I don't remember. Was that the day I went into the scan? Did I die right there? Takes 24, 25 years old. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> that's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Okay, so I went in for the scan on the May, the roadmap, whatever the hell that is. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. And then this is the day I died. The model was sound. 
It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Okay, so... Theory B was, I was correct. Everyone's a robot. He got his brain scanned when he went to Dr. Munchie's office. And here he is. I need to reset the murder modem. Murder modem. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. This is where I would store the art scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Fast. Broken. Damaged. There we are. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. I don't know what that is, but I got it. Need to fix that mainframe connection.
wires go back into this tank, but I can't really do anything with it. I need a security cipher, right? This looks important. Leave those there, I guess. Put the lights on, please. There we go. Let's go back down the scary hallway. just like acres but it listens be careful we spotted two more by the infirmary what do they look like not sure it seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance tall dark and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for keep my eyes open okay we got the monster of theta wouldn't be complete without an enemy to try to kill you right <laughs> Always something in the bathroom. Okay. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Wow. Let's try to, try to get the flashlight off. I don't even have a head. Okay. So, you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Gee, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. 
the human inside. Going by your reactions, I'd say you'd be pretty upset. <laughs> I guess so. Let's go upstairs. Or down the stairs, or let's just not use the stairs at all. Master tool safety. Catherine. I'm gonna go to your room, Catherine. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. <clears throat> 2103. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded into a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the... Vivier, hold on, hold on. After dissecting the vivarium machine that Reed activated, it is clear that the WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point, where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs. The Favarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the Favarium is a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't find out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially sta started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. We will then launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Serang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. Fucking, this is just religious thinking through and through. I die so I can live on in paradise. 
it's I'm sorry I don't agree with that I'm not sure how that would work it did trigger a lot of arguments from the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow Strohmeyer is not happy with me hope he will calm down I want to interact with that. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top-heavy, so he keeps falling over. Creepiest goddamn bear ever. Fuck. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or, or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the protocol or mystified by the spiritually minded. In this book, Pavlina Martineau, professor of philosophy at the Charles University in Prague, Prague, a lot guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. Whatever. Alright. Mark Sarang. The company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WOW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and you, that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WOW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The Supervisory Board. So, Mark Serang is responsible for the WoW. Huh? Cannot read that. Papers belong on the desk. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. 
I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you Digimon. and your <laughs> digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die, and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. I broke it! I broke it! Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark, as I've explained this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by cyanide salts in chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I, when I hear her announced completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, no, there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Okay, this guy is a fucking cult leader. God damn it. I'm gonna stay away from that one. God damn butthole flowers. Looks like a kid. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. See, people, when you exploit their fear of death, people are easily manipulated. There's that rubber ball. Ugh, what a bad way to go. Time for to get freaky. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. I sound like a fucking... Drug junkie. I need it, okay?
mean, I pretty much explored everything here. Laboratory terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. The terminals in my laboratory have lost connection to the mainframe. Head downstairs and reset the router. <sighs> okay. Downstairs. With the monsters. Right? Is that what I'm hearing here? <laughs> Going back now. This is good hidey hole. There it is.
make sure everything went okay here. Okay, it's online now. now let's get the fuck out of here. I need to know where it's at so I know where it ought to go. Fuck that. I hope I don't gotta go back in there. Oh my dear God, you're alive. I can't get back upstairs, can I? I can climb, right? For it. I hope I get, get back up the stairs, otherwise I gonna run to a dead end. Right there. Alright, let's just follow it out. That guy. Good job, Simon. Yeah. This better if we're not going down there again. That door is open. Why is that door open? Are they up here now?
We should try running a simulation from the chip you found. Someone must know the cipher. Got to go to the lab. Got it. Can we seal that door, please? Security cipher. Hey, okay, Robin Base was a tech. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Stromeyer. I don't know who the hell security is. So I'll blow them all, I guess. No, I don't think so. Stromeyer recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them. Okay, try actually reading the info and then pick one. Load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Perfect scan meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wan. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need your help. I have to get the new security cipher. 
Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. Please, we really need that cipher. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chara. I'll punch your teeth in. Wait! Simon, you just reset the simulation. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Don't worry, Mr. Wan. It'll all get better. No, no, that's, that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So? What's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Relax, Mr. Wan. Just keep calm. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need a favor. I need to know what the new security cipher is. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. It's not for me. I'm trying to save the Ark. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chara. I'll punch your teeth in. I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. <laughs> I can't do anything else. Let's try the beach again. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Everything's fine. Theta needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Simon, we need something new to work with. <sighs> what do you want me to do? What's that guy's name, Mr. Wan?
That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did he... Alice? Mr. Wan, can you hear me? Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Hmm. How many times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. Can I break this over there? No. It's not compatible. Yeah, I thought so. Try having a conversation with him instead of like, you know, fucking straight going to the, uh, the security cipher. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did he? She left. Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. No, it's okay. I promise. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Can't keep trying the same thing over and over. <sighs> Nothing I can, there's nothing else I can do. Already in there, already in there. Corrupted. No, restricted. 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 Did that for some reason. One more time on this one. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did he... Alice? Mr. Wan, can you hear me? Simon, what the hell? We need to do this. <sighs> it's not gonna work. I need to find a new module. Nothing in here. Wait, 
Maybe I should go down that hallway, see if I can get in that guy's room. Mr. Wan, right? Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. All right. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. From Japan, looks like. Or China, I don't fucking know. Cute. Akers finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Creer, and I moved to Theta today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer, the crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. Did my arc scan together with Seems Alice. Seems like Alice and Brandon did their scans together. Oh, we can definitely use that. Strohmeyer told me- I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. That's fucking new. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Um. 
Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Alright, what's gonna happen on the way back? I'm not gonna run. Okay, I'm gonna run a little bit. Just have extracted the Smithers' data somehow. It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's impossible. There you are, just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and. Huh? That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. <sighs> More monsters. Yay! That door to open. Please won't turn. Why the fuck would these things turn? Is there anywhere else you can put that? 
plug you in anywhere? Plug you into the dump pad, but. So who's in the Dunbat? <sighs> Here there be monsters. <laughs> Plan B. This has been going on for a while, I have no idea. Ah, fuck. You know, I really hate monsters. I really do. quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. I honestly There's thought a you were prototype pretty sarcastic. and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the ark. You didn't know how to get us on? 
How difficult could it be? I've decided to finalize the arc with my scans we leave, with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry, I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone, I just wanted to save something. Apply to face module, seal art capsule, ask permission from 4Q, blah 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 blah. Pick up power suits, ride climber, regroup a towel, head to lock site, load the bullet, lock art. We're here. Arc is here, probably. Okay. I'm not gonna read all these. No, I don't think it's logical at all to save mankind. You don't save mankind by loading yourself into a computer and launching yourself into space. That's basically ignoring the uh, end of the world. Well, okay, I do get that safe is a better pl uh, space is a better place because of um, environmental. What is that word? Exposure. There's no environmental exposure in space, so I will agree with that. <coughs> it would just destroy it on Earth. <sighs> Maybe. That's not what you wanted, though, was it? Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. The arc doesn't even look that bulky. This is going to be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. I gotta put this in somewhere. I honestly don't know where. Oh, this is the arc? What's this? Thing? That's just a compound example. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier out how to get you on the arc. I'll give it a try. 
Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind in a sound body. Wait a minute. So inside this diving suit there's a fork? Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. And it's corpse of a dead chick? I woke up as a dead chick? How many terabytes is this? Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> it's 1100 terabytes in this thing. You know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, wait a minute, I see. Noon. I've got 
13 terabytes left. But I can't fit 13. I got two. Good river. That's... No. Cloudy... River... Cloudy boat... Cloudy bend... Cloudy road... Whatever that is... Let's get rid of... I don't know... Let's see here. <clears throat> Sim base required Soma. Scan forest system gen veg ad. One mod Atmos. Interface. before we start messing around with the real arc. Well, Run the simulation I, and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. I wonder what would happen if I had deleted all of those. So I deleted the Nami. Going for. You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Sure thing. I just don't know when it'll be done loading. Pause the simulation while it's active. Then we can run diagnostics and see how it operates. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Oh. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Do you need anything else? Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. 
Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. There's Catherine Cat on the far right. I can't read anything. I can't read anyone else. Okay, monster time. in the vents now. These guys are being kept alive. Is that what would have happened to Amy eventually? sure the Ark makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers look better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe right now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Right. That means 
you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. It's missing a chip or something. Looks like a part is missing. Cool. Well, that's interesting. walking That is disgusting. Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reportedly found in his diaper suit, unconscious, and in the water. Acres has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. It's difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious moment, and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat a full exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think... I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this.
Acres is fucked up. Find a tip for that. It's probably one of the rooms around here. I haven't been in this one yet. Brandon, what do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like shanking at us? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll loop back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle. We're we'll ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. So Akers created those fucking monsters and then Juan sacrificed himself to save everyone else. So it sounds like to me. It's where the rest of our begin. See one there. Don't come into the room, please.
Don't know where the hell I'm at. Okay. What is this room? Be cool if I can lock those things away, but. I honestly don't know if I can or not. Security checkpoint. I think I'm at the security checkpoint. So if I want to get to a mega management, I go out this door, go down the hall, and then I take a left. That'll be right there. First door on the right. Past the main left. is right there a mega management's right here okay this guy has the chip I need it's Dr. Juan right Brendan Juan Bye. I gotta get to the elevator. Okay. It's saved. Checkpoint. Good. One thing, it's another, right?
go to the security tech point again. This way. My mouth is really dry right now, guys. I mean, oh my god, I'm scared. So I hope it doesn't see me here. Don't come in that door. Wait, can I lock this door? Connected ship. There we go. Now I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, it just fucking appeared there. Five nights at Freddy's bullshit going on here. Let's go! My god, it just disappears. I went down that way, but that's the way I gotta go. It's not here. It's not here. Something's missing. There's something not hooked up right. Hmm. What's not hooked up right? I'm gonna let that thing to go away, then I'll look at it again. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So those clamps and panel. I guess I didn't fix it properly. What's missing? Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. 
Go away. Go away. Ah, fuck. How fast is this thing? It's right behind me, isn't it? Oh, hell. <laughs> you can't hide from it. You died. Okay. You know what, ladies and gents, this video's gone on long enough. I don't even know how long. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits right here. And we'll pick, we'll fix the elevator in part four. Okay? So this is sci-fi. I'll run out. <laughs>